Hey everybody, Reaper Gaming here and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in again and today we're going to be talking about the new feature which is now available in the game. It has been for a while for those of you who are new to the game or may not know about it. It's the automated gun turret. You're going to require quite a few things to uh, get this thing built and on the go. So we'll go through that right now in step one. You're going to require either the interactive crafting bench which you, could, which you can see here which I'm instead in front of or the interactive building station and in, in either one of those you can craft the weapons bench and once you have the weapons bench up and running you are going to require the following items which I'll now put on the screen for you to actually craft the gun turret so you're going to require the turret gun you're going to require 10 scrap metal, one gas can, two electronic wire, a box of 556 containing 100 rounds of ammunition, and a box of 7.62 rounds also required 100 rounds of ammunition. Now, once you have this crafted, you also need to make sure that in your main backpack you have enough item slots to store this in. And we'll move on to step two now, where I will show you how to place the gun turret and how it actually works. So I'll see you right there once I get to that location. Okay, so here I am at my destination, and for this purpose I've decided to use the prison for demonstration purposes. So in order to place the gun turret, just go ahead and go into your inventory. And as you can see, there's my turret. Just right-click and place and it's showing it red because it doesn't have a stable platform so if i just look down a bit there we go it will turn green so now i've got a stable platform let's go a bit further here okay now to rotate it you can either press q and e to place it hit left mouse button once and the turret will become automatically activated and as you can see there it's already engaging targets i'm going to go up to the zombies and try and get them a bit closer because Obviously, as you can see, this is not the most accurate weapon system. And it doesn't seem to be hitting anything at the moment. Hopefully, there will be an improvement on that. But Okay, there we go. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Now it's hitting the targets. Oh. There we go. It's taking the dog out. But as you can see, and this is what I want to demonstrate, that's a bit of a fault with the gun. If they get too close, it can't engage up to a certain point. But it will swing at the gun turret and damage it. Okay, so... That's all those zombies taken out. But as you can see, if I go up to my gun turret now, 4 out of 100. You just, I hope you've seen that little bar there. So basically, that one zombie taking those couple of swings nearly took out the gun turret. So I hope this gives you some sort of idea of uh, how the gun turret works. How to place it. And just be aware that you can, if you want, just go back up to the gun turret. And it will give you the option to pick the gun turret back up. It will fall to the ground. But seeing as it's damaged, it will come back in parts. If it was fully up to 100%, it would still be fully built and you could just pick it up. But now I have to pick up every individual item and then craft it again. But like I said, I hope this has given you some insight of to how actually the gun turret works, how to place it, how to pick it up, and what's required to craft it. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye.